Hello, I'd like to welcome you back to Borderlands 2, where today, missions. In case you forgot what we're doing, we're doing all sorts of side quests, and unfortunately for me, it turns out there's a whole lot more to these side missions than I was promised. That's adorable. But adorability aside, um, I've got places to go now. Um, I gotta clean out my controller because all the buttons are full of goop, gunk. They're full of slim jims. No, I don't want one of those. I want one of these. Magic marker. Doesn't look very magic. No, does it look like a marker? Oh, I see. It's painted on. How lovely. Anyway, to save the day! I really liked Wind Waker! I really liked Wind Waker. Uh, I think it's actually one of the reasons that I even got a... Aw oh, man, they broke the bridge signs. I think Wind Waker is actually one of... One of the few reasons I even have a GameCube to begin with. Apparently you're supposed to go for the eyes with these guys, but, uh... Their eyes are rather difficult to hit. Oh, this isn't the way... Oh. So, yeah! Wind Waker's fun. I don't like what they did with the HD remake. Like, part of the charm of the game was just sailing around. You don't get a sense of skill if you can move around really fast. Like, in this game... I guess the maps look big, but then you have a car and it's like a whole lot smaller and then you can sprint and see. Eh. I don't know, I think there's still a, a decent skill. Requisition officer. Oh. He doesn't want to give me shit, it seems. A requisition bodyguard. Uh, I love the humor in this game. That's, that's, that's class A comedy, people. Oh, it's more requisition officers. Hello, requisition officers. Would you like to requisition my vehicle? It's a beauty! I promise it's, it's very pretty. Oh great, it's these guys too. Once their shields go out, they're pretty much easy to talk. No, when their shield, go, shield goes out, they can't cloak anymore, apparently. They're not so good at least. Hey, it's an item to pick up! Huntsman could ask for. Now, don't get excited. I locked the present with my fist print, so you can't open it till I get home. Anyway, I'm off to go disembowel Henry the Stalker with my teeth. See you soon. Ah, what a nice guy! What do you drop, kiddo? Apparently, I'm getting a shield out of this deal, though. Get your health and shields right here. So Great. You're very efficient. I respect that. The last medicine shipment was being delivered by boat, but we lost contact. Find it, please. Stay <sighs> I keep finding shields that aren't very interesting. I might have to look more, though, towards... Oh, look, there's a, there's a quick travel point here. Let's unlock it. Yeah! Unlock complete. New unlockation options. Let's go for a spin. Wait, this is another thing. Uh, where's this mission? By boat, by air, by road. We mailmen are always on time. I have to give mailmen one thing. They are the coolest cats in town sometimes. Like when I'm like, holy shit, I'm not going outside. I'll freeze my nuts off and then I'll freeze to the ground because rain's on my foot. Those guys are like... Screw you, nature. I have mail to deliver. That is probably the ballsiest thing you can say. And I can commend people that have ballsy things to say purely out of occupation. It probably doesn't pay good enough for what it is, though. That's kind of the sad part of it all. 
Oh, that's a that's a vehicle point. I thought it was something else. Oh, would I have to be downstairs? What? There's something down here? Oh, there is! My car is down here. How lovely. Hi there, car. How are you doing? It's nice to be sitting inside of you. It's a lot better than fighting these guys with my ammunition that I have to purchase. I wonder if slag does take slag damage. Because I don't think they, they might not. I'm trying to drive over you. Please respect my, 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 my opinion. My opinion is that driving on you is a good idea. There you go. I love driving on people, except that I don't. I like pretending that I like pretending, but I don't. <laughs> he just exploded! His physics engine did not know what to do. Oh, it's a turf. I guess that is sort of easier when you have like a machine gun or a shotgun or something to pepper them with so they can learn to concern yourself with actually aiming. Also, this game has an incredible addiction to just putting hundreds of enemies in an area. Just look at how many enemies I have to fight. I want to explore this tower before I do anything else. Don't you fall in the water, car! Or someone's not getting dessert! The answer is me, by the way. I'm not getting dessert. Because I lied about dessert. You shouldn't lie about dessert. That's that's the vilest thing a human being can do. Man, I remember back in Nam, I had a man lie about dessert. That man did not live to see the day. Did he? I like to think he doesn't. I like to think he doesn't. Is he digging through the water? How lovely. Please, sir, eat these complimentary bullets. They're on the house. Hey, it's a boat thing. I wonder if I can open it using my advanced finger technology. Oh, by the way, his sword is a digistruct. All he has is a handle on the... Oh, that's incredibly bad. The, the, the water isn't z-buffered correctly, or it's just that it's all an effect layer. Whichever the two it is, it's kind of cheap looking. But... Also, I watched the Claptrap series. Be careful. The Claptrap web series. I found out where that Steve guy is from. The hey -oh! guy. Apparently he's British, which you wouldn't say when he says hey -oh! In fact, I'm gonna look that guy up again, because he's so nice. I like how they shipped an actual vending machine. If you wanna live. Buy my crap. If you want to live. You're an organ donor, right? That ought to keep out. I've got all the medicine. Yeah. Efficient. Very efficient. Now, please distribute that medicine around town. I do it myself, but Hyperion doesn't, doesn't like it when we leave our homes. All right. I'll see you there then. Hello. I can't believe I downloaded that as an MP3. Hello. It's available on the the wiki in case you want it. He does actually say other things in Heyo. He says <gasps> it in the episode three, <laughs> where he has an incredibly strong British accent, mind you. I do like how Steve is always an optimist in that part. No kill like overkill. The thing is, eh, the problem with I don't know what is the problem with Jacob's weapons. Like they're quick to fire, they're power I guess maybe clip size might be a concern, reload speed. I've never really looked up what the weakness of a Jacob's is. Oh yeah, never get elemental. That's another big concern. Because sometimes having corrosion and all that sort of damage might just actually be a lot better, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, you get a good gun, but you're never going to get that elemental bonus, so you have to actually hit the enemy to do the damage. I appreciate it. Are you just... You're just going to leave it in there? Okay. Not my medicine, I don't care. Going back to the future in the past, which makes the future also the past at the same time. Screw you! You can bring me medicine all day! It don't make you less of a stag sucker! Sorry about Dave. He's a... Hyperion uh, 
We try not to talk to him. Return to me for your agreed upon reward. Do 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 your face is real nice. And you're dying for the rest of the year. If I had ten people like you, this town would be running like clockwork. Overlook needs a shield. Now that our brains aren't going to rot from the inside, let's move on to point two on my agenda. Revolt. If we are to shake off Hyperion control, the town will need a shield like sanctuaries to protect it from moonshot blitzes. If you could donate some shields to the town, I could scavenge them and build us a shield. Drop shields into the grinder. Do I have any? Wait, there's... There's a bloody shop here that sells them. I could just buy a couple of those and dump them in there. And then go back to that do 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 do. Hey, the generator's gone. You're Five. That was expensive. Drop whatever shields you no longer want into the Just drop whatever pants you don't need. Overlook's old administrator died and left me in charge. Karima, you can't make us no techie shieldy thing. Who's a woman? Now, if the town needs someone to make us a big old sandwich, then we call you. Your feedback is appreciated, David. Huh. Why don't you just shoot him? Like, everyone's problem in this game is solved by shooting things. Try to follow, and lead by example. Hyperion suggests staying inside. The outdoors are dangerous, and do not have cable. Man, that cable board's spooky. Why are you staying indoors? That part wasn't made exceptionally clear, I think. Y'all just gonna blow yourselves up. Better quit now. Thank you for your input, Dave. Good no overbite. It's a dormant turtle shield, it sucks. Overlook shield is finished, and I would very much like your help testing it. Head to the Hyperion outpost near by huh. and get to the mortar huh. cannon on the launch pad. Huh. Hey, Karima. You know what's even better than You're having a working welcome. shield? Not being a woman! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, shut up, Dave. Catch a rat! You know what I want to say about Dave? I don't know. I just don't like the guy. Actually, uh, let's see. We have, I should have a few new skins for the technical. Apparently, I don't. You know what's really interesting? Ah, I forgot. I blacked out. Whoops. How do I get up there, then? Do I have to go all the way around? Because if I do, I'm gonna have to cut this video again. Which means go, going back to the future past. And I hate the future past. It's like the future, but then it's the past. But it's also the future at the same time, somehow. It's the weirdest time in the world. It's worse than daylight saving time in terms of confusion. Oh, you're not a badass, you're just a jackass. I am always right. Except when I'm wrong. And that's the exception to the rule. I just noticed something. If you're willing to forgive the whole... Uh, the armor color with corrosion, you essentially match whatever color the enemy has to what element you're supposed to use. Like, red is, fi is fire, corrosive is yellow, which I guess is close enough. And shield is blue. Stop! Stop! Go, go bother him, okay? Go bother him. 
Then I toss this to you. You go fucking deal with that, okay? All of them. Not a single nice guy that just knows how to say hello. Like Steve. Steve should give classes on that. Also, I'm in the middle of a war zone right now, in case you're wondering why that's all. If you hear popping in the background, it's, it's just that I'm in a war zone. Yeah, the first war let's play from the middle of a war zone. It is New Year's, after all, the time of year when everyone starts shooting each other with rockets. Because that's the sensible thing to do, isn't it? What's this? Ooh, green. But they all suck. I'm okay with that. Who's that sucking moron up by the cannon? Please ignore Dave and aim the cannon 55 degrees port bound, 86 degrees skyloft. We'll need overlook to sustain a direct hit from the mortar to test the shield. I like your ideas. Please fire the cannon again. That's a big ass fireball. And those are some fancy ass god rays if I ever saw one. Most efficient. The shield works. Overlook is safe and no Dave. This is truly a happy day. Return to me at your earliest convenience. There's kind of some weird uh, coloring to cows going on. <clears throat> I'll next actually explore this base a little bit more, so I'll come visit you in a moment. <gasps> when we're back in the future and pat what is with this sniper? Is this another one? Oh so <gasps> weird, I thought something was up. <gasps> Going back to the future in the past. Which makes the past the future too. You know what? Let's just use the fire SMG. Matching colors! I am not colorblind! Well, I'm a little bit. Most men tend to be colorblind, so that's okay. That's a okay. It's also just a little bit. Not like completely colorblind. Like I can still tell the difference. It's just that at some point it becomes a haze, which is really what colorblindness is. is you you start to uh, mix up colors to this weird fancy haze that no one seems to respect as being a fashionable decision. Hey, no arms. No ar No arms. I said no arms. I don't like that arm. I also didn't like that other arm, so I took them both. It's called efficient problem solving. Except it's not efficient, and this problem are not really being solved. Also, I just got the pun of their name. It's Exploder, get it? Ha ha ha, because it's a loader and it explodes. Oh, great, it's one of those guys. Oh, so you're not gonna fire his missiles? He normally tends to be a jackass about things if he starts shooting a whole bunch of missiles. Oh, 
Whoa! You alright, dudes? Into the stratosphere! Team Rocket's blasting off again! I think their physics bugged out. What are these? Oh dear god, they are tiny little bulldozers. I get it! Bull loader! Because they're bullshit! Get it? Bull, bull loader? It's a joke. Oh, there's more of them. Let's see what in that what's in that building over there, and then I'll complete this mission quick. Should be more than a couple of meters to walk. A couple of meters, of course. Go solve his problem. Illusion fools you all. I move for the kill. Hey, he radio. Thanks for that, bub. Really, that's... Oh, there's a little bit more over here. <laughs> this thing is everywhere, isn't this? This building, this base, is like going all over the place. Damn, I don't think I have the tools necessary to build it. Like I said, I don't have the tools necessary to deal with them. Oh, I forgot to mention that! You can actually shoot off their legs! The reason I don't do that is because their legs are a little bit more difficult to hit. I don't find it efficient enough to do. Also, the reason I pick up class mods is because I'm still with the Skyrim mentality in mind, where smaller things, less weight, more better to pick up and all that stuff. I'm surprised how strong this shotgun is against loaders, of all things. Well, I guess the occasional stray shot would hit their weak spots, which causes increased damage. It also does 50% extra critical damage. So it is probably the best option. Up close, that is. Like, the extra critical damage essentially guarantees that I'll blast off a limb or two. Which really reduces their combat efficiency, being robots. This was a fun episode. Also, I'm liking Dark Out so far. I might do a lot more stuff off screen, so because I don't know. I don't like one thing. It's it's dark, but it's like dark dark. It's not fun dark, like where you're yeah, it's dark. I can have a blast now. No, it's dark in the sense that I can't exactly see that well. Uh, luckily the game has a good art style, so the silhouettes are obvious, but I don't know, it just kinda bugs me to not be able to see. I see loot. And slag. And more loot. I get the sensation someone here went to the future past. Huh? Hey, hey, stop that. Stop that. Bad. Oh, so these guys got overwhelmed. Uh. It's an echo recorder, and I want it. I am going to die. Roland forcibly relocated me to Sanctuary for what he claimed was my safety. But the slack jaws who populate this city make my flesh scream. A young woman said hello to me today. I stare back at her, my mind screeching as I look for a way to escape this unwanted interaction. As my face grew red with nauseous stress, a blood vessel popped in my nose and a jet of crimson shot out of my nostrils, splattering us both with blood. She screamed and ran away. As pleased as I was at the time, I fear causing fountains of blood to shoot from my face will not be a viable long-term strategy for avoiding conversation. Yeah, it isn't. I actually, I didn't actually try that. I want to say that I did, but I never really did. Uh, the reason for that was that when I did actually try it, I got, you know, 
someone said, call a doctor, and I was like, no, don't call a doctor, this is my short-term effective strategy for avoiding people. And it was like, oh no, he's dying, he's saying weird stuff, and I was like, oh no, but I'm just being an asshole. And they're like, no, you can't be an asshole, you're too nice. And I'm like, no, I'm not nice, and they're like, yes, you are. Man, that was a discussion I would never want to have, ever. I don't know how I'm even going out here, I wanted to turn in this quest, but I guess that going around having a blast, who cares? Who gives a hoot? Gives a hoot in the tutor. There's particles all on the ground. That's a really... That is an insanely pro good optimized uh, engine, by the way, for the particles. Look at that. It's just like a hundred of them. There's thousands of them. And they all move when you drive near... Th okay, they're cleaning up. Those might just be uh, animation particles, so they're not really particle effects. But still, this game is a really nice particle engine. I'm shooting bullets because I have guns. That's how they work. It's called using what you got. Because you don't know what you've... Uh, fun fact, the Steve from uh, the lumber mill uh, is actually the same Steve we met here, so... He actually survived being a zombie, or that whole thing isn't canon. I think it's just not canon. It would make sense, because, you know, the Dr. Ned thing? The game keeps insisting on. You won't fight better merchandise than anywhere else. I've made sure of that. Don't what a smart businessman. <laughs> I like how he says it, don't have to. It's so nice. You know my favorite thing about Dave? He's dead. I'm gonna put the shield on. It has incredibly long reload time, though. But look at that. Look at that recharge rate. That thing is, like, back in seconds. So, whenever damage is... Let's actually check out Dave's house, which no longer exists. Well, I can't see it, so... I guess Dave is in a pan-dimensional state. You know what I actually want to do is... Nah, I guess doing more would just cause that whole thing to start happening. Um... Kill old Slappy? Oh yeah, the dumb... Dumb shit face. Jeez, there's like a whole bunch of stuff to do out here. Now nah, these journals should be easy enough. So I'll do that, off screen. Physics, everyone! First journals around here. It's the one place I didn't check, which is up there. Fuck me, what stupid stuff I just did. Can you shoot the JP off? Fuck yeah. Now you can shoot them. Oh no, it's reinforced. I was hoping I could shoot it, but apparently not. But I can tear it up! That's such a cool effect. This game runs incredibly smooth for all the effects I keep seeing happening around me. Like, this is some hardcore optimization. It's probably because it's not optim- it's actually optimized for a fucking computer instead of being another flat-out console port, like... But look at how that just dynamically blows in the wind. Look at that. I know it looks blocky and all, but it looks very nice for how... You know, the, the, it's just, it looks amazing. It's a bit blocky, but amazing. Do 
Oh, you can also shoot them? The same questions occurred to me today as I was pinning a disemboweled skag to my front door to dissuade others from approaching it. What does Jack want with the vault key? Was the key simply charging the entire time I possessed it before Jack crowbarred it from my bloody hands? Was it waiting to unleash its alien powers on Pandora to make Iridium appear from the very ground? Was it preparing itself to unlock even more alien ruins? I will delve deeper into this question after I soundproof the walls of my home, that I may be spared the incessant laughter and joviality of Sanctuary's citizens. Jeez, lighten up. I like that they're not even afraid of that thing in and of itself. Yeah, they totally got rid of fall damage. Which means more do 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 do. Can I get up here from there? No, I can't. Shit. But I remember this. This was in a video, wasn't it? I have uncovered legends of an ancient alien warrior. The legends tell of a magical key that can bring it back to life. If my hypotheses are correct, which they always are, the legends may be speaking of the vault key. Also, a young man told me I was pretty on my way back from the grocers. He was surprisingly tame. I only spent the next three hours driving you into a bucket. Fun! <laughs> Are you kidding me? There are eight fucking wind tacks to collect. <clears throat> well, we'll get to all those things eventually. Oh, by the way, remind me of it because I will forget because I don't want to do this, but who cares? Where? There you go. What's a pyre? Of course, not supposed to use. Well, there was a badass here for five seconds, but he took the road. What was that? Oh, it's probably a tunnel or something. Either way, I'm not here for any of that. I'm here because this is here. Whew! Yesterday, I had a conversation with another human being. Granted, it was only a conversation in as much as my grunts of social terror could be taken as human speech, but Roland did not seem to mind. He asked me why Jack hasn't revived the warrior yet if he has the key. I conveyed that the key needed to be charged by Iridium, hence Jack's mining operations. He nodded and silently wiped the streams of my saliva from his face. I returned home. Confused not only at his lack of disgust toward my behavior, but my lack of disgust toward him. For the first time, I felt as if I could actually live in Sanctuary. For the first time, I, I feel as if I might be okay. Yeah, she was really on the way to becoming a psycho, it seems. Hmm. I really want to look into what this thing is, and then I'll see you guys in a moment, because... Uh, yeah. <gasps> I guess I just like seeing people in a moment, you know. I think it's a hobby. Oh, that's what it is. The line's like, oh, there's a river here. Damn it! Oh yeah, I also unlocked some new skins. Let's have a look at them. Nice symbols. 
Sting like a butterfly. And this skin is cyan. And cyan it is! I like cyan. It's a very cyan color. It was different in the old days. But those were the old days. Today's the new day. We live in a video game world, so no technological advancements may take place unless you're dealing with Fable. Excellent. You listen to my notes, I assume. I would be upset were it not for the equally privacy indifferent background check I ran on you before hiring you for this job. I hid the copious material I compiled after opening the vault those five long years ago. In a fit of spastic paranoia, I did not write down the locations to the information. Find it for me and be handsomely. Oh, were you expecting me to say handsomely rewarded? I just expect it to be handsomely. Why is this considered tough? If something pops out of those things, then I'm <gasps> done. against everyone's better judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be Look here. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard living arrangement with two ceiling chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> they barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what a ceiling chair is, I pity the life you've wasted. What is a ceiling chair? <laughs> I got nothing. I should discuss the scroll event in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the destroyer. Not to be confused with the warrior. Seriously, they sound nothing alike. <laughs> oh, right. Torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. Clark was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling, but he knew he had to be strong for me. <laughs> then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. They were actually torturing her ceiling chairs. How lovely. Philippe. I just... Philippe was so brave. He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Clark cried out for me. <laughs> Even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his voice. <laughs> the last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was... I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. What a ceiling chair of a man. <sighs> it's lonely here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clork prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken <gasps> so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion... I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die. So where is your ceiling chair right now? Is this a ceiling? No, she said legs, so it has to have multiple. Is this your ceiling chair? That's a, That looks like a clork. I'd call that a clork. Maybe he's upstairs, like... Did he fall out the window? That'd be unpleasant. I see you've got several replacements for Felipe, but they all can't fill the gap, can they? Is she slightly damaged? No? No, oh, just me. Let's finish off this video. Ah! The chronicles of my torture. I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again. You said Coco, no? Whatever. Next time, I'm gonna stretch and etch and etch and sketch. Fisticuffs.